And a pleasant good Saturday morning. It's the uh, 24th day of uh, September. It's a beautiful clear autumn morning. And uh, yes, it was 86 degrees yesterday. It's going to be more the same today and tomorrow. So high 80s in town, low 90s in the valley. This is our first weekend of autumn. At least here in Southern California, it's still going to be warm for the next several days. But like I said, in other parts of the country, it's getting cooler. And, uh, well, a happy birthday is going out to Rafael Palmero and to Kevin Millar and to Travis Ishikawa, also to Frank Compton Jr. and to Mark Lewis and to Paul Hom and to Devontae Swing. And, well, I'm, I'm sure everyone knew what happened last night when Albert Pulhos hit his 700th career home run at Dodger Stadium in front of a sold out house, 11 to nothing, but don't worry, we're gonna turn things around tonight because Clayton Kershaw is pitching. And uh, maybe the Dodgers will catch fire and score runs. And hopefully Freddie Freeman will be back in the lineup tonight. Um, they, they took out of, well, you know, we, we, we faced a lefty last night, so that's why Freeman was not in the lineup and same with Bellinger, but well, history was made when Pulhos homered off of Bickford. Uh, Pulhos has 500 career homers off of right-handed pitchers and 200 career homers off of left-handed pitchers, which is, an is, which is a very interesting fact, actually. And, uh, and of course, Shohei Otani just recorded his 200th strikeout of the season. And yeah, and Aaron Judge is still stuck on uh, 60 homers so far this year. And hopefully he'll get number 61 today, possibly 62, as the Yankees take on the Red Sox again. And the, re and the Yankees are inching closer to the American League East title. And same thing for the Mets as they have a little bit of breathing room over Atlanta. The Braves play the Phillies again. Mets are at Oakland again. Angels play the Twins again t today as well. And uh, the Dodgers, of course, play their second game against the Cardinals. And, and yes, we have USC football there at Oregon State. Meanwhile, uh, the uh, UCLA Bruins are at Colorado. Yeah, so both our locals are on the road. And um, Julio Rodriguez is out with a, with a lower back strain. And uh, Byron Buxton is out for the season, which is the injury report. But I'm sure we'll be all right. Well, we just have to rest a, a lot of our regulars. And our magic number to clinch home field advantage is three for the National League Championship Series. And I think it's still down to six or seven for the World Series. But yeah, let's just hope that the Orioles keep taking it, putting it pressure on the Astros too. Because we really have to start winning and hopefully the Astros start losing because we need that home field advantage. But. Yeah, it's important because you get that one extra game at home. And uh, yeah, and also a happy heavenly birthday to Jim Henson too. Today he would have been 86 years old. Meanwhile, uh, have a good rest of your Saturday. I'll catch you all later and let's go Dodgers and hope they bounce back tonight and Hopefully the bats wake up and start scoring runs and hopefully we can give Kershaw some run support. Hopefully Kershaw will have pitch at least six innings and give up three earned runs or less. That's what's considered a quality start. Framber Valdez leads that category with 25 of them. Yeah, pitching has really changed a lot. Same thing for the hitting. This is why Cal Ripken Jr.'s uh, consecutive games is will not be broken. Same thing with Joe DiMaggio's 56 game hitting streak. Ted Williams, last to bat 400. 
I don't think we're going to have anyone finished up to 350 this year. I mean, the game's really changed a lot. All right. Have a great rest of your Saturday. I'll catch you later. Amen.